My name is Im. I am an IT administrator, chief information officer at my company. And today I'm here to review PDF Exchange Editor, a software which I give four out of five stars, an excellent software that assists my company. If you would like to see more video like this, please keep, click the link below to enjoy more reviews. PDF Exchange was introduced in my company. We were using Adobe um, 10, the PDF um, software, Adobe 10. And um, it was pretty much an expensive package for our company. And as we grew, the cost would have grown with license. So we decided to look around for alternatives. We explored Foxy PDF. It was Fox's PDF reader at first, but then they introduced a new package. I think it's now called Phantom. Um, these packages were also suitable, but then we found that package PDF Exchange Editor, which had a number of excellent features. And apart from having great features, the price line was on point. We could have afford a numerous amount of copies for the price of the original package. And so we gravitated to PDF Exchange Editor. As we use that software, we became very competent and comfortable in the use over a very short period of time. Within two weeks, our team was using PDF Exchange Editor, just as how you would use something like Microsoft Word, because we deal with a lot of PDF documents, merging documents, extracting pages, watermarking, and everybody just felt comfortable with it. So our investment stuck with PDF Exchange Editor. The first reason we needed to have an editor, a generic editor, because um, most of the documents that comes to our company is in the format of PDF. And of course, even though you have PDF, most um, officers still would like to copy, paste, edit certain words, make some annotations, apart from just the comment annotations, some, you know, like strike through. Similar to how you would use Microsoft Attract Changes, we our workflow is like this. But we also wanted to ensure that we could extract full pages or a number of pages from a document to create new sub documents. We also wanted to be able to insert pages into its respective place. We also wanted to ensure that we could combine a number of different documents and then give page numbers and watermarks on those um, combined documents, which creates a brand new full document. So these were the first initial parts that um, attracted us and the features that we needed to address. Now, as we went along, we started to use the Microsoft SharePoint from Office 365, and we discovered that PDF Exchange Editor was one of those software that automatically integrates into that package. And so these features just um, give us the ability to work naturally with PDF Exchange Editor. Well, most officers would, of course, naturally, because we are working with PDF, they are very comfortable with PDF documents. And they had, you know, um, general usage of Adobe Acrobat, the professional edition. So there was um, enough proficiency at my agencies. However, when we got PDF Exchange Editor, there wasn't much to learn apart from having to install the software, IT install software very quickly. We deployed it um, to a few staff within the first week, and there was little request in terms of what we need to do and how we need to uh, manipulate the software. The instructions were clear. They were using the same, the design was with the same ribbon that is well known with the Microsoft Office platforms. So persons knew where to find the functionality. Um, new and necessary functionality needed a little bit of um, coaxing within maybe an hour. Persons would have understood some new functionalities and specifically things like the bookmarking functionality which comes about with um, PDF Exchange Editor and is very useful for anybody who's dealing with very large documents and wanting to create something like a table of content in the web browser for external users, you would want to use the bookmark functions. And that's something that the staff found and had to get little training with, but that within an hour, the, most staff would generally know what to do in terms of 
creating new bookmarks. Um, advanced functionality like watermarking, page numbering, those the staff would have already know how to perform those activities. So it was just about showing staff how to click and how to get the right menu items to perform the activities. But it was really simple for us to use it. I would start by saying, first of all, if you are a company that looks after your IT budget, you must think about the cost. And having a package like PDF Exchange Editor makes you rethink how expensive some packages um, are on the market right now and how economic some packages that gives you, as far as I'm concerned, the same and more functionalities and they are much cheaper. So from a point, cost in point perspective, PDF Exchange Editor, you have to look at it from that point of view. Secondly, if you are into Office 365, specifically SharePoint, that there is a feature that comes with the PDF Exchange Editor that I have not seen in other packages as yet. Um, you work directly with your documents in SharePoint, and I'm not speaking about OneDrive, I'm speaking about SharePoint Online. You work with the attachments, edit and annotate directly in the um, PDF Exchange Editor. That's, to me, a unique feature that stands out to anyone who's working with large PDF documents and they would like to archive in 365. PDF Exchange Editor also provides some high technical features such as the PDF A metadata using, um, well, what I would consider to be very customer friendly, customized, customizable fields that you could create for your organization. And so you would create a long-term preserve documents using the PDF A features built into PDF A edit, PDF Exchange, PDF Exchange Editor. So there's a lot being offered and the price point for that software at currently as it stands is rather lower than the, the um, standard leaders in the marketplace, but it gives you a bigger bang for your buck. I think that is one of the highlights of that software that persons must take a look at.